Saturday and we are um, just getting out of the house this morning and heading to the farmer's market and then we're going to hit some antique stores in town because I have a list of things that I want to find for the house. Um, I'm not sure what it is about fall but it puts me in this like broody home kind of mood and I'm like I've got to finish getting furniture for the house and things on the walls and decor and whatnot. So we are um, in the farmer's market, then we're going to hit some antique stores in town, and then we're going out of town because Dean has to go to Lowe's and get the sand that's like glue that goes on the pavers, and I'm going to go along with him, and we're going to do um, some, we're going to go to some antique stores that are in, um, or that are out of town, and I'm also going to see if I can buy some more low light plants um, in Lowe's for my bedroom. I put up this like macrame plant hanger, and I put some plants in it, but they were plants that were better for more light than what that area gets, and they were starting to turn kind of yellow. So I took those out, put them back in the windowsill, and they're doing better now, and I need to find some um, low to medium light plants to put in that. And then I've got one area in our bedroom where we have like a wall hanging, like a, I guess, the, I don't know if those are called macrame wall hangings or not, but we have one of those that we got on vacation one year. And I would like a floor plant that'll get tall underneath of that. So, um, got about four-ish plants that I want to buy. And then just stuff at the antique stores. I need some bigger furniture and, um, like some little, uh, like pictures for the walls or little knickknacks to put on shelves and fill in some spaces. So, I have just kind of an idea of all the different things I want to get today. Anyway, today I will take you with me along through stores and then hopefully bring home enough good stuff to show you guys what I got later and be able to put stuff in the house and kind of decorate and make the house feel homey and cozy for fall. We'll see. All right, so we're just now leaving the farmer's market and I got like a raspberry white chocolate scone and I think Ezra did you get a blueberry scone and Gina yeah. got chocolate chip scone I got the blueberry scone you got the blueberry it's good Judah got a chocolate chip scone and a cookie Ezra Ezra show him your lip gloss that you got you got a scone and he got some lemon balm like little tin of chapstick lip gloss stuff and then I got some earrings from my friend Christina's booth She hand makes jewelry. See, it's pretty. I'm gonna wear these today because they match my green shirt. And then I got these like a little turquoise design. Anyway, successful day at the farmer's market. Uriah is actually with Dean and he got a bottle of hot sauce because and he, he, he just loves tried, like, hot sauce. Half a drop and his eye and he's crying already. His eyes were red. He and it's pretty hot. I don't know why he does these things to I himself. This but giant he does. bagel for like three dollars. It's glazed with hot, with not hot sauce, but um, glitter. So the boys each got five dollars. Um, they they give you tokens, so like you um, run your credit card for however much money, and they'll give you tokens. So when we come to the farmers market, they each get five dollars to spend. Sometimes they buy honey, local honey, because they like to have honey in their tea. What else were you guys thinking you wanted today? Oh, jelly and jam. Sometimes they'll want like some orange marmalade or peach jelly that we normally I love don't peach. have. You love peach? You're spitting your food all over the place. <laughs> Alright, go get in your seat. We gotta go. We're gonna go to an antique store. Okay. Alright, anyway, so successful day at the farmer's market. Talked to some friends who have booths. Caught up with some people we haven't seen in a while. Got some pretty stuff. Let's see what these look like. If I get it in my ear. I have my ears pierced twice and sometimes I get them the wrong way. I get like one into the first hole and one in the second. <laughs> kind of look really weird. Um, Guys, so. Dad's getting what's time to I used to wear earrings like all the time. I always, like anytime going out of the house, I had earrings on and a necklace. But I've just kind of gotten to where I just, I just don't really, since we've moved and I packed all my jewelry up and I still haven't unpacked it in my jewelry box. I was telling Dean the other day, I've got to go get my jewelry box out of the shop because it's still up there. And I just don't put jewelry on, but I love handmade jewelry that's kind of got this like 
kind of natural vibe to it. So good. So everybody got two. I thought, you know what? I'll support my friend Christina and I'll buy some of her jewelry. I'll wear it. Okay. To the antique store. you guys can see it. I don't think you can see it. I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's like a mini outdoor like garden table. Um, it's made of some sort of iron and it's painted white and it's really short and cute. It looks almost like a children's table because it's too short for an adult. Well, I mean, you can sit in them, but you're sitting really low. Anyway, I just have it as a decor piece in my garden. And so I bought, I found some like decently priced china. So there's a cup, a matching cup and a saucer. And I'm gonna kind of have them spilling over and there'll be dirt coming out. And then my succulents will be planted inside of them. And I have a teapot as well. So I'm gonna put all that together and I'm gonna put it over there on that table. I'm going to repot these plants in new pots and this will go in my room my bedroom I got some I love these little um, Job's like fertilizer spikes I stick these in all my house plants one every single month I just stick them in all the house plants and it helps to keep them growing really well and healthy and then I actually bought some orchid spikes today these are from miracle grow um, I have never used these before, so I don't know how they'll do, but my orchid did so well this year, and then earlier this week, the boys were making a fort, and I totally didn't think about the plants near where they were making a fort, and they knocked it over, and they broke the new growth off. It's the second time the kids have broke the new growth off, <sighs> and so then it, it probably won't grow next year. I'll have no flowers on it again, um, so it is what it is. I think it was like two years ago they broke it and I didn't get any flowers for a year and then this last year when we moved here it was full of flowers it grew a new stem it was full of flowers it was beautiful and um, it wilted and died and the next one started popping up and then they broke it so what can you do what can you do anyway I'm gonna quickly repot this stuff put it where it goes and I'll show y'all the end result Gotta get them out of the driveway. My real eyes are gonna be like 
those aren't your real eyes, right? You gonna show them your real eyes? Yep. There's your real face. Super superhero sometimes. Hey. Sometimes. Rosie, what are you doing? Chewing on a stick? Oh, that's that dog doing? Hi, mommy. Hi, Noir. Noir, come here. This is our stray cat, but she won't come over here. We think it's a girl. If her, if she's a girl, her name is Noir because she's black. And if it's a boy, we're gonna call him Merlin. But she's very sweet. And she was super skinny, skinny, almost, almost dead when we found her, actually. Just dip it in there, babe. Just dip it in. I don't know. I can. 